stuffing. Yes. Okay. Got our glaze going. We're gonna do our peppered goat cheese mashed potatoes in a minute. In fact, you know what? You could get the milk heating up on that. Okay. Have a little sip of your cocktail. Oh, thank you. Happy Thanksgiving again. Yay. <laughs> okay, so we're putting two cups of cream. Two cups of light cream. Into a pan, we wanna put how many tablespoons of butter? Four. Okay, that's going in there. You are the stuffing queen, right? Yes. She loves cornbread stuffing. So I'm doing three bread stuffing. In your honor, cornbread. Thank you. But I have to admit, <laughs> it's my favorite too. On my pans here, I have a half a loaf of sourdough, a half a loaf of rye, cut up into cubes. And by the way, I let them set out overnight on a sheet pan, just like you do your cornbread, to get really air dried so they're nice and crunchy. And that way, when you pour your liquid onto your stuffing, it doesn't just get to be a soggy mess. Right. Right, you want it yeah. to have a little bit of texture and to hold up. So you put that in there, I'm gonna put the onions in there. All right. I won't get these anywhere near yet. <laughs> Here are our carrots, that's two carrots, three stalks of celery, and a cup of onions with four tablespoons of butter. I don't mm. think you could get better than that, right? Yum. Stuffing's my favorite. I know, me too. I have to say, that in the gravy. Mm. Let's talk about our stuffing. Three bread stuffing, very simple to do. First of all, remember I have my rye in here and my sourdough. That's about a half a loaf of each that I dried out overnight. Pre-made packaged cornbread stuffing already seasoned. You are going to embellish this with a few things. Remember my medley, my carrots, my celery, my onions that Kimber and I sauteed off earlier? Well, this has come to room temperature. Now in here, I wanna put a couple things. First of all, two eggs go in here. Then you're gonna put in two cups of chicken broth. Terrific. Give it a whirl. And those eggs are gonna act like binders in your dressing. And by the way, if you don't have chicken broth, you know what you can use? You can use chicken with rice soup. That would be great too. One cup of pre-made turkey gravy with one tablespoon of poultry seasoning. You're gonna stir that together. And this is just a delicious semi-homemade recipe that's gonna taste like you spent hours in the kitchen and what we'd spend, 15 minutes putting this together? That is my Thanksgiving gift to you. And you know what, you don't even have to give me credit, you can take it all yourself. Stir it about. You wanna combine everything together and this is lots of dressing here, which is good because everybody's gonna want a lot of it. You know, Thanksgiving is such a special time of year. It's one of those feel-good holidays. It's like a comfort food holiday. All this is going right back in the pan. All this fits in the same saute pan. And this is oven safe, so it's going right in the oven to bake off. Some Parmesan cheese goes on the top of this. You can have a crunchy top. You could also dot it with some butter if you wanted to. I preheated the oven to 350 degrees, and this goes in for 40 minutes. My stuffing is also done. Look at this. It was in the oven for 40 minutes. Crunchy, beautiful top on that. And that is dinner. Now I've got one more great recipe for you, other than cocktail time, of course.